Millions in Syria and Iraq are facing water shortages as the region's longest river, the Euphrates, dries up. The longest and one of the most historically important rivers of Western Asia, on which the various lives of the ancients depended heavily on this river. The Euphrates River, once a lifeline to numerous civilizations throughout history, has rapidly dried up in recent years. This frightening occurrence has not only endangered the lives of millions, but also exposed archaeological treasures buried beneath the riverbed. However, the River Euphrates has recently been sealed due to some intriguing discoveries that could change the world forever. What is the real history behind this river, and what other strange discovery led to its closure? In this video, you will find answers to this as we will discuss the mystery behind this and some other nine mysteries of the Euphrates, so keep watching. We will start with the story of the hidden truth behind the Euphrates. Originating in Turkey, the Euphrates River traverses Syria and Iraq, eventually merging with the Tigris before reaching the Persian Gulf. With an expansive basin covering 190,000 square miles and a length of approximately 1,700 miles, it stands as the longest river in Western Asia. The river experiences heightened water levels in April and May due to increased rainfall and melting runoff. Preserving its original vegetation, the Euphrates showcases a diverse range of flora along its course. In southeast Turkey's mountains, the river passes through Zarek woods, hosting a variety of trees, including oaks, pistachios, roses, and plums. The Euphrates River presents breathtaking views and carries immense historical significance. Ancient cities such as Sipar, Nippur, Shurupak, Mari, Ur, and Urkuk thrived along its banks, benefiting from the ample water supply that granted access to fertile agricultural land. This river served as the cradle of human development, where early societies discovered the art of writing, established cities, and formed kingdoms. Beyond being a mere water source, the Euphrates held profound significance as the birthplace of civilization. Exploring the historical narrative of the Euphrates reveals that it transcended its physical attributes, occupying a sacred space in the hearts and thoughts of the people. The earliest mentions of the Euphrates River are found in cuneiform manuscripts discovered at Shurupak and pre-Sargonic Nippur, dating back to the mid-3 RD millennium BCE. The Euphrates River offers breathtaking scenery and holds significant historical importance. Ancient cities including Sippar, Nippur, Shurupak, Mari, Ur, and Urkuk thrived along its banks benefiting from the abundant water that provided access to fertile agricultural land. The river appears frequently in religious writings such as the Bible, where it is frequently used as a symbol of life, wealth, and divine favors. Many saw the Euphrates as a link between the divine and the material world and a source of spiritual sustenance. However, disputes and power battles also involved the river. Empires arose and collapsed, battling for dominance over this invaluable asset. The Euphrates saw wars, coalitions, and the ascent and descent of monarchs. It witnessed civilization's heyday as well as their inevitable downfall. The river took on the role of a narrator, revealing the mysteries of bygone eras. Scientists have reported that the Euphrates River has finally dried up. Amidst these developments, some individuals attributed spiritual significance to the occurrence. For them, the drying up of the Euphrates transcended mere geological phenomena. It conveyed a message from the divine. This interpretation introduced an additional dimension to the unfolding mystery, weaving together history, nature, and spirituality elements, thereby altering the region's cultural fabric. Once a vital source of sustenance, the riverbed transformed into a source of wonder, serving as a poignant reminder of the mysteries lying beneath the surface, waiting to be unveiled. The debate over the fulfillment of prophecies intensified as the waters of the Euphrates River receded. Whispers and rumors circulated, linking this remarkable event to ancient prophecies in religious texts. 
Are we witnessing the realization of prophecies foretold thousands of years ago? We will now list the terrifying and shocking things found after the drying up of the river Euphrates. Discovery of Eerie Sounds As the waters of the Euphrates slowly pulled back, revealing secrets from the long past, a discovery sparked unease among those who found it. It was a spooky cave with entrances that looked like prison bars. When people ventured inside, they discovered a large network of dark tunnels that seemed to go on forever. The eerie sounds from deep within made it more than just a creepy cave. As explorers moved through the tunnels, they heard echoes that felt like whispers from forgotten stories and strange cries that sounded ancient. The cave wasn't just a place, it seemed like a door to a history that had been forgotten. So it wasn't just about how the cave looked, it was about the mysterious sounds that made it feel like a portal to a past waiting to be remembered. The unease came from what they saw and the feeling that the cave had echoes of a long ago. Strange, unexplained sounds echoed in the cave, raising questions about its origins and the people who might have lived there long ago. In a place with a rich history like the Euphrates region, it didn't take much time for the discovery to be connected to old stories, local tales, and even stories from the Bible. Some believed the mysterious sounds echoing from the cave were the voices of ancient spirits. In contrast, others speculated they might be the sounds of falling angels, reminiscent of Christian biblical prophecies. The uncertainty surrounding these peculiar sounds raised questions about whether these angels, if indeed responsible, would soon descend upon Earth to fulfill a prophecy of destroying one-third of the world's population. As curiosity drew more, people eager to decipher the enigma, the crowd size increased, raising safety concerns. Recognizing the potential risks of this unusual attraction, authorities took decisive action by sealing off the cave. This closure sparked debates among the local community. Some mourned the loss of the strange cave sounds, while others found solace in the increased sense of safety brought by the sealed cave. The closure left the cave again shrouded in mystery, prompting speculation that someone might be trying to conceal something from the public. The transformation of the Euphrates, once a source of life, into a guardian of hidden mysteries, serves as a poignant reminder that even today, Unexplained phenomena and enigmas continue to await resolution. People could only guess, since no clear answers made the cave even more intriguing. Many were curious about the truths and secrets the cave might hold. Secrets that, for now, remain hidden beneath the waves of the Euphrates. Another secret discovery from the Euphrates River now takes us back to King Gilgamesh, the lost tomb of King Gilgamesh. Long ago in the ancient Near East, there lived a king by the name of Gilgamesh. The ancient city of Uruk, known as Warka, was located east of the current Euphrates riverbed. The Euphrates River has been sealed off following a momentous revelation, the unveiling of the lost tomb of Gilgamesh. This quest for the tomb's discovery originated as historians and archaeologists sought to unravel the truth concealed within the layers of myth surrounding Gilgamesh's final resting place. Gilgamesh was an exceedingly great king in the city of Sumeria, Europe. This city was very powerful in Europe, and Gilgamesh was considered the fifth king in history. Unlike every other king who reigned in the city, Gilgamesh has some strange mystical power due to his divine origin. He possesses two parts of God and one part of humans. His duality bestowed certain divine attributes, chief among them being strength and size. Interestingly, Gilgamesh was about 17 feet tall, standing taller than the ordinary Iraqi citizen. The people of Uruk prayed to the gods to teach him to be a kind and wise king. They admired him for his courage and strong leadership, but also feared his immaturity and propensity to act without thinking. The gods answered their petition by creating Enkidu, a man who resembled a wild beast who would serve as Gilgamesh's advisor and companion. They would set off on an adventure together that would forever alter their lives. The two warriors engaged in ferocious combat as Enkidu and Gilgamesh first met, each attempting to demonstrate his superior power and skill. But they quickly discovered they were matched and became close friends. Enkidu and Gilgamesh set out on a heroic quest to defeat the terrifying Humbaba. According to the epic, 
Gilgamesh was said to have been buried in the Euphrates, and archaeologists employed modern technology to investigate this claim. They could digitally map the area using advanced methods, such as creating a magnetogram by examining soil magnetization differences. This process effectively provided a detailed town plan of Uruk. The findings were remarkable, revealing the presence of garden structures, field layouts, Babylonian houses, and an exceptionally sophisticated canal system. Jörg Fassbinder from the Bavarian Department of Historical Monuments in Munich highlighted the canal system as the most astonishing discovery. Additionally, remnants of a structure that could be interpreted as a burial site were unearthed. Is this the tomb where Gilgamesh lies, as told in the Epic of Gilgamesh? It looks strikingly similar to the grave described in the Epic. Still, Fassbinder is reluctant to confirm the connection, saying he doesn't want to declare with certainty that it was Gilgamesh's. Not all of the Euphrates' unexpected mysteries have been revealed, though. The tomb of Gilgamesh is not the only one. Recent droughts have exposed the river to a treasure trove of lost cities and ancient treasures. The river's receding waters revealed six civilizations, each with its antiques and riches. Hastek Castle Our next stop is the fascinating Hastek Castle, an architectural gem discovered in 2021 within the Kiban Dam Lake on the Euphrates River in eastern Turkey's Agen region. This unique structure, accessible only by boat, is believed to have functioned as a temple in the pre-Christian era, according to Professor Korakma's son, a distinguished historian from Firat University. Carved into the rocks, Hastek Castle features three floors adorned with Greek inscriptions. Visitors can explore spacious rooms, a temple area, and sections resembling a rock tomb. The castle's galleries showcase cleverly designed battlements as sources of light, ventilation, and defense. The Islamic Prophecy In exploring the role of the Euphrates in Islamic history, it is crucial to refer to Quranic verses and hadiths that highlight their spiritual significance. Quran 18, 86 mentions the journey of Dhul Karnain, often identified as Alexander the Great, who reached a place where the sun sets near a muddy spring. Some scholars associate this muddy spring with the Euphrates. Hadiths further stress the importance of the Euphrates. In Sahih Muslim, a narration attributed to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is that the Euphrates will reveal a treasure, a mountain of gold. He advises those present not to take anything from it. Book 41, Hadith 6942. Historically, these Quranic verses and Hadiths contribute to the significance of the Euphrates in Islamic teachings, linking it to narratives about the journey of prominent figures and emphasizing its spiritual and even material importance in the future. Historically, the Euphrates have played a pivotal role in shaping Islamic narratives. It witnessed crucial events in the early struggles of the Islamic community, such as the Battle of the Camel and the Battle of Kafan, both of which hold pivotal positions in Islamic history. In this broader context, the Euphrates goes beyond its geographical significance. It embodies a spiritual and historical tapestry intricately woven into the fabric of Islam. The Euphrates River and its prophecies hold a significant place in Islamic teachings. Prophet Muhammad's foretelling about the Euphrates River has become a chilling reminder of an impending doom awaiting humanity. He prophesied that the hour would not arrive before the Euphrates dries up, revealing a mountain of gold that people would fiercely contend for. The prophecy further forewarns that in the ensuing struggle, a staggering 99 out of every 100 individuals will perish, with each survivor questioning their fate. Today, drying the Euphrates River is not merely a prophetic notion. It is gradually transforming into a terrifying reality. Rising temperatures contribute to this crucial source's swift decline in water levels. Faith has long cautioned us about the dire consequences of such events. Yet, little has been done to impede this alarming progression. Undeniably, what was once perceived as a distant premonition is rapidly evolving into our worst nightmare. The Bible Prophecy The Euphrates River, a historical thread weaving through the annals of time, now particularly captivates our attention. Recent years have seen the mighty river's waters receding, prompting deep contemplation. 
It's imperative to recognize that the Euphrates is more than a geographical entity. It holds pivotal symbolism in biblical prophecy. Revelation 16.12 directs our focus, stating, Then the sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates, and its water was dried up, so that the way of the kings from the east might be prepared. This scripture marks a crucial moment in biblical prophecy and urges us to contemplate the signs of our times. Are these shifts mere environmental changes, the result of climate change, or do they unfold as part of a greater divine plan before our eyes? The profound nature of this scripture challenges us to reflect deeply on the unfolding events. The Figurines the figurines, ritual objects, inscriptions, religious artifacts, and ceremonial constructions discovered in the cave's secrets shed light on the beliefs, myths, and rituals of Zakiku's inhabitants. These remarkable findings have proven instrumental for researchers in comprehending the cosmological worldviews, deities worshipped, and spiritual practices associated with the people's beliefs. Beyond their practical significance, the Euphrates River held immense symbolic and religious importance for the residents of Zakiku. In ancient communities, rivers were revered as sacred entities symbolizing fertility, life-giving capabilities, and spiritual significance. The flowing waterways that sustained the land and crops were perceived as manifestations of divine forces and cosmic energy, creating a rich tapestry of legendary and spiritual connections. Due to its proximity to the river, the cave has been speculated to play a role in religious events and rituals linked to the Euphrates. Caves were believed to serve as natural gateways to the divine realm, brimming with spiritual energy and facilitating interactions with supernatural powers and ancestors in ancient times. The study teams searched for indications of religious objects, such as figurines, ritual artifacts, or offerings, which could indicate the significance of the cave in religious ceremonies. The inscriptions on the cave wall. The secret to understanding the many religious ideas is found in the symbols and visual representations. Traditions and legends around the Euphrates River, maybe because of the river's powers, the cave functioned as a pilgrimage or ceremonial place for people looking for spiritual guidance, healing, or supernatural intervention, ritualistic actions and practices for purification. It's possible that prayers and offerings took place inside its chambers. The echoes of the cave's natural darkness. The acoustics enhance the ritualistic experience and add to the mystery. The people of Zakaku may have worshipped the Euphrates River similarly to how Hindus regard the Ganga River as sacred. The ancient city of Turka Turka, an ancient city along the banks of the Middle Euphrates, in the Deir Ez-Zor governorate Syria, encompasses a vast area spanning approximately 20 acres, towering at 60 feet. Throughout its history, Turkey has witnessed various rulers. In the second millennium BC, it came under the dominion of the Assyrian Empire, followed by Mari during Zimri Lim's reign. Eventually, Babylon assumed control after Hammurabi triumphed over Mari. Archaeologists have uncovered remarkable discoveries at Turka, unveiling its grandeur and formidable defenses. Particularly notable is the city's impressive triple-layered city wall. Standing 20 feet tall and 60 feet wide, these walls, accompanied by a 60-foot wide moat, offer insights into the city's historical efforts to protect its inhabitants. The fortifications at Turka are truly remarkable, with the inner wall constructed around 2900 BC, the middle wall around 2800 BC, and the outer wall around 2007 BC. These fortifications were used for centuries, providing defense until at least 2000 BC. Within Turka, a temple dedicated to Ninkarek, the ancient goddess of healing, holds significance. This sacred sanctuary, existing since at least the third millennium, has been a focal point of excavations. Unearthed artifacts like Egyptian scarabs offer glimpses into the city's connections with other civilizations and spiritual practices. Thank you for staying to the end of the video. What other mysteries have you heard about the Euphrates rivers? Let us know in the comments section.